Taurus, this is your weekly reading for August 2021. Let's jump into your reading, okay? We're going to find out what your overall energy is this week. We're going to find out what you need to focus on, what's being hidden from you, what is being hidden from you. We're going to get into these cards, okay? I want to remind you guys, this is a general reading. All of the messages may not resonate with you. If this message resonates with you, Taurus, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell. Let's shuffle this first. If the message does not resonate with you guys, make sure you check the description box. I have all of the zodiac signs listed down there. You can check any of the other readings that you may be drawn to, okay? Let's get the minute cards here for Taurus this week. Okay. Taurus, there may be some ups and downs when it comes to work this week. That is what I'm saying. Uh, there may be this period where your uh, patience is really running thin and you're definitely thinking about doing something different here, okay? I feel like, um, yeah, you're wanting more. You're wanting more at this time. You want stability. You want comfort right now at this moment. This is... <laughs> the energy that's coming in like you, you want more joy and more happiness in your life. So I feel like you're going to be making some changes here. Um, and a lot of people may not understand the changes that you're making here, but I feel like your spirit team is definitely wanting you to follow your heart and follow your, your gut instinct, your intuition here, okay? Because I feel like there is some changes um, that you can make that can really set you up for success and bring in the opportunities that you are seeking here, okay? There's also this message here, uh, Taurus, that you possibly need to cut down on um, spending, like pay attention to your finances here this week. Uh, due to your emotions, you may be overspending or emotionally spending here. And your spirit team definitely wants you to get that under control so it doesn't put you in the negative and the red. So pay attention to the money that is coming in and also the money that is uh, going out here. Let's go into your cards. You have support coming in. Lean on your inner circle during this time. And you have surrender unhealthy relationships. So it says let go of uh, relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. So this may be a relationship that I'm seeing here, Taurus, okay? You may be really wanting love from your partner here this week. Uh, some of you guys are demanding attention or demanding love or respect or affection, okay? I just feel like you want a, a deeper level of commitment from your, your uh, partner here this week or your love interest here. You want to be noticed by this person, okay? I feel <clears throat> if this person doesn't give you what you want, you're going to go out and seek it here, okay? Because you're, I feel in some way, taking charge as well. You have different pages coming in. The card says you and this person don't share the same vision. And that's also why I'm saying like you may go out and seek your own pleasure, seek more adventure in, in your life here, okay? Uh, the car says surrender to joy. Uh, a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Because some connection or relationship may be draining you at this time, it's not only affecting you um, with this person, okay? The I feel like it's also affecting how others see you outside of your home, like in your workplace or... Uh, you may have this look on your face of displeasure when you're out in public here because you're so unhappy um, in some area of your life here. I feel like there is a change coming though. There is balance that is moving back in towards you and your spirit team definitely wants you to keep a positive mindset as you move forward here, okay? So <clears throat> your overall energy 
is the nine of cups. I have to take a look at it for a minute. Is the nine of cups here. This is the overall energy. So when I say things are going to get better, I feel like things will get better soon. Um, <clears throat> this is due to changes that you're making here in your life. Okay, walking away from things that do not uh, meet your needs anymore or doesn't serve you here anymore. You may be releasing yourself from unhealthy relationships, whether that is with a romantic partner, uh, an employer, or a friend or family member. That's what I'm seeing here. But you're walking towards your happiness. And I feel like by you making this brave and bold choice, um, that the universe is aligning things for you and giving you what you are seeking here, okay? So your energy for this week. Some of you guys may feel drained here when it comes to work. You may have a worky, a rocky um, week here at work. That's what I'm feeling. That's why I kept saying that it feels like your patience may be running thin. Some of you guys may feel like there's too much drama or adversity at, at your workplace and um, you're not valued as an employee here. That's what I'm feeling. Some of you guys, when I told you to pay attention to your money, <clears throat> this is what I'm feeling here this week. Pay attention to you, your money here because you may have to have funds for a rainy day coming up pretty soon. I feel like there is some job change here. Some of you guys may let go of a position or get let go of, like lose a position here. Let's take a look at... Yeah, some of you guys are feeling really emotional about your stability, when it, your material uh, stability here, okay, with the moon card that's coming in and you're longing. I feel like you're longing for some change and you're also wanting to, uh, you want to come out and be this new, your new self here. Like you want to feel better. You know your value, you, you know your worth, but in the, in the area of your life right now, where you are, you feel like you're not being, um, respected here. That's that energy that's coming off of your cards okay you have expectations so you expect better you want better and i feel like in some way you are um going towards better here with the moon and the expectation card is uh telling me that you need to pay attention to your intuition and um have they're telling me realistic expectations as you move forward here okay i feel like they're saying that because like I said, it feels almost like the universe with the nine of pentacles are aligning things for you here towards. So they want you to become clear about the things that you want so that it comes towards you here. The magician card is not on the desk, but it feels like you are you are, and you do have the tools. You have the power. You have the skills, okay, to manifest what you really want in your life as you move forward here, okay? Yeah, that's what you need to focus on is your worth. You have the queen of pentacles that's coming in. And I feel like they're wanting you to know that you are important. Um, some of you guys may be feeling like you're not being treasured at this moment. All right, not being respected. You have occupation. You have the brain. This could be any type of relationship, but it's pointing towards uh, a relationship with an employer here, okay? Your value there. And you also have family room that's coming in. Some of you guys may be making different choices. Like I said, when it comes to your employment, you may feel like you want to go off on your own, either to start your own business or work at home here. This is what I'm feeling like. But your spirit team is saying that you do have the skill set to do this. You do have the knowledge to do it um, and that you can uh, create beautiful things here. Um so if you have a project in mind here, Taurus, I feel like you should put some energy into it at this moment. All right. All right. You have the Ten of Swords coming in as your past energy, leaving a lot of difficulty behind, uh, mental confusion. That's what I'm feeling here. There's an end to a situation, to a struggle here. 
um, and I feel like you're moving towards better. This is what's being hidden here. I feel like if you continue to move forward here, okay, leave things that do not serve you anymore. Uh, that's why you're being given um, all of these blessings with the nine of cups here. Feels like you're moving in the right direction. You have the uh, future energy as the six of pentacles. So this could mean uh, a possibility of a new job coming in. You being promoted for the work that uh, you have done so far because you're very skilled. You're very intellectual here, okay? Uh, grounded. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like you will receive some type of uh, opportunity that will bring you in a nice amount of income and stability. Let's take a look at your self-care advice this week. Spirit, what self-care advice do you have for Taurus? aromatherapy may help you here okay so get you get you some aromatherapy you can pick this up at any store any scent that may be help uh helpful to you here to ground you that's what i feel like they want you to do at this moment ground yourself and do some aromatherapy possibly pick you up some amethyst uh here this week if you can get um your hands on it okay you have look at the stars so they want you to pay attention to the moon cycles here as well that may uh help you with directing your energy or figuring out why you're feeling a particular way here um, they want you to get into water connect with nature flow like water here they want you to go with the flow that's what they're saying but i feel like they're also saying that you need to get into nature possibly go to the beach or get, go swimming get somewhere where there's water where you can get that um that energy from the water okay and they're bringing out more water soak in a bath so some of you guys need to do some bath therapy here okay um one good mixture that i found here is to do a goddess bath here tours so if you're interested in a goddess bath you can pick this up anywhere you can go get yourself some roses um and put that in the bath you get uh some himalayan salt the pink salt here um, you guys can pick up some lavender bath bombs if you can find them or you can get uh, oil, lavender oil and put that in there as well um, and make this ga goddess bath for yourself. I feel like this is going to help you also ground yourself and in some way protect yourself as well. So they want you to practice this self-care this week. What is your final, final message here for Taurus? Okay, they're telling you about trusting your intuition. <laughs> okay, trusting your intuition. That's also why you have this moon card that's coming in. They want you to trust in uh, your instincts. Okay, and this card is all about they're telling you that there is opportunity um, and growth in letting things go, okay? Um, and there's also growth and opportunity in letting go of the need to hide yourself from the world. They want you to trust your instincts and go for what you want here, Taurus. They're letting you know that there will be a life shift here this week. You guys may be feeling this energy. They don't want you to doubt it. They want you to be courageous, bold, okay, and call in your future here because I feel like the universe will answer, okay? Your prayers will be answered. You have the wish fulfillment card coming in here. So a lot of happiness and um 
fulfillment okay some of you guys prosperity and abundance i see is coming in towards you here this week okay Taurus, that is your reading thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading i do appreciate it make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell because i will be back with you i'll see you guys in the next one bye